the Nifty Show. It is still the world's first NFT podcast. Will always be the world's first NFT podcast, the Nifty Show. I am your host, Joel Kahn. Welcome to the show. And today we've got guests from a generative project that has blown up on Solana. Just when you think you've seen enough apes, we devolve to monkeys, right? I mean, why go full-blown ape when you can go monkey? And unlike some others that we feature recently that have high-definition 3D art, this is getting back to the basics of 32 by 32 pixel NFTs with a whole lot of utility. The project is called the Monkey Kingdom. It has sold out on Solana. And with us today, we have Lil Wukong and Awkward Owls, two team members who prefer to remain undoxified. And uh, hey, gang, welcome to the Nifty Show. Hi, thank you for having us, Joe. All right. So the Monkey Kingdom uh, is is an unusual habitat. Monkeykingdom.io is the website. Uh, Lil Wukong, tell us about this series. Well, it stemmed from basically a desire to want to have a more Asian flair to an NFT project. Um, we noticed uh, even though NFTs were taking off, you know, exponentially growing throughout to 2020, 2021, it was kind of a uniquely Western phenomena. We didn't really see many projects coming out of Asia and whether that was because of a, a lack of knowledge or a lack of means to create a project, who knows? But we did see that gap and we wanted to bring a beloved tale of the legendary Sun Wukong to the to not just for our Asian community, but we wanted to bring it international as well and share it with the world. And that's what, what, really what is that legendary tale? Tell, to give us the short version of it. Well, the, the short version, because otherwise this will be a very long interview. But yeah. um, so it, across East Asian cultures, there is the, this very fame, uh, mythical creature called Sonu Kong, and it's basically the Monkey King, and. He's this, ma he's this uh, magical monkey that has access to all sorts of fantastic powers and his adventures are basically what we all grew up on as a kid. And yeah, I, if, if you've spent any time in East Asia, you would have heard of Sun Wukong. He's a, a huge figure for us. Nice. So, uh, Awkward Owls, you guys have already done a sale of 2,222 Wukongs and 2,221 diamond Bapes? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. Correct. They're bay apes, right? Bapes? Yeah. Okay. So in these, if you look at them on Magic Eden, like the floor on these is 30 soul. You guys have absolutely clobbered it. Um, and out of the 2,222, only 199 are listed for sale. So people are hodling. Why? What are the, the benefits that are keeping people so vested in the project? Oh, it's because um, uh, once we have the Gen One, which are the uh, which is the um, first generation of Wukongs and male monkeys, and then we have the second um, collection, the Diamond Babes, which are the female uh, monkeys, and then we are going to roll out the third generation, uh, which is the offspring of these two collections. So people are um, now participating in the breeding which is going to happen in um, probably April. And so a lot of people are not listing their monkeys because um, they they are going to breed their monkeys to get the generation three. And also we are rolling out the peach token very soon and um, our holders will be able to stake their NFTs and to earn peach token. And what, what will we do with the peach token? Oh, um, with the peach token, you will be able to um, um, get some whitelist spots for some um, nice uh, NFT projects in the futures. And you are you can also use the peach token um, to to name your third generation of NFTs. It's and there are a lot of yeah, there are a lot of uh, other utilities that are coming soon. This is one of the things I love about NFTs is you could just continue adding value to what people already own. It becomes this loyalty card, if you will, this membership 
Uh, and there's no end, really. It's it's really up to the imagination of the creators to determine what's the next value. And of course, creators are incentivized to continue adding value because that just keeps the secondary market action going, which brings more revenue in. Yeah, totally agree. And I'd say in our case, our community has been so supportive and so loyal. And I know that might sound like a bit of a cliche. Everyone, everyone who's created a project loves to say um, their community is the best. But I'm pretty serious. Our community is the best. And, <laughs> and we just want to keep thinking of new ways, new, more utility, more even small things like customizing the smallest details. We want to keep bringing that to the community because they deserve it, honestly. I mean, without them, <laughs> what's the project? Well, if, if you don't believe, who else is going to? Right. I think exactly. it's super important that you have to be vested in your project. Now, this caught my attention. I'm not exactly sure when this episode is going to air. We're, um, we're recording on March the 10th of 2022, but apparently there's a Sotheby's auction. You guys have gotten into one of the world's biggest auction houses. Tell me about that. There is, uh, and it's going on right now. It's uh, 8th of March to uh, 15th of March, and we're part of the Contemporary Art Series. For, um, and yeah, we have two... Two of our NFTs are on auction. One is uh, uh, Wukong and the other is a diamond bait. And if I can briefly tell you about the two, it's really interesting. Yeah, I would. I'm, can I see them on their website? Is it up where I can yeah, pull it up? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it? it's, it's, it's on the Softbees Contemporary Art Auction. Okay. I can I'm send gonna, you the link. I'm going to pull that up here while, um, while you're telling me about this. I would assume that it's, uh, if I just look here for search, will it come up? Um, let's go ahead and just take a look here and see what let's comes have up. a look under monkey. Yep, there, there they are go. right there. Boom. I searched yes. for monkey on Sotheby's.com and there's a Mulan, the diamond vape number 1044 and Guapi Mao. I can't see the rest of the name, but uh, 13. That, that you got it. That's the name of the, the hat. And the reason why we chose these two, that there is a, there is a deep meaning behind it. So if you look at the Wukong, uh, Guapi Mao. That was a fantastic pronunciation, by the way. Really Thank good. You. Appreciate um, it. Yeah, if you look at this one, this is a very, very significant piece of headwear from originated from the Han Dynasty. Um, actually, even maybe earlier, but it was basically what an, uh, it was created by one of the very early, very famous emperors. So I, I feel like this, these images have been seen in the West before, but we wanted to really kind of go in depth. And, and show the significance to it. And, and you know, it's it's a pretty cute NFT, if I may say so. You may. At the current bid, <laughs> as of this recording, with more than four days left to go, is 65000 Hong Kong dollar. What is that uh, equal to in, in U.S. dollar? Any idea? Oh, uh, it I, is. I'm going to look right here and see there's a converter actually on the site. There you go, 8309 right now. And it's believed it'll go for between 10,000 and 15,000. And then this other one here um, is priced around the same, the Diamond Bape, uh, Awkward Owls. Tell, what, what's special about Mulan here? Of course, I know why Mulan is special, but go ahead and you know, fill us in. Oh, okay, so actually um, we have quite a few um, um, one-off ones in our Diamond Babes collection, and Mulan is one of those one-off ones. So. Um, all the attributes are actually uh, unique on this, and only Mulan has has this one. And there are also uh, different um, uh, in, in that series of um, um, female uh, monkeys. We have also a few other um, NFTs that are one of ones, and um, there are basically um, all significant um, uh, female characters that uh, represent the Asian culture. So uh, Mulan is one of them. How does somebody get the attention of Sotheby's for something like this? I mean, there's so many collections out there and they've only you know, auctioned a few different NFT collections. How did this happen? Well, if I may. Um, you may. Again, this kind of goes back to what we, start, what we were talking about earlier. There really isn't, now, now you see more. But when we started Monkey Kingdom, I, I don't, I really don't believe that there were many other NFT projects with this uniquely Asian flair. It's this, 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 this cultural sort of 
um, significance behind it. And I think that's important. I think as NFTs have really become kind of, I, I'd go so far as to say a common facet of life now, it's important for representation. And there are so many stories that can come from Asia that can just make a fantastic project and so many talented individuals that could, I'm surrounded by an entire team of extremely talented individuals. And this is a chance, you know, for us to really bring, I would say bridge this divide between the East and the West. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm just really grateful and happy that Sotheby's noticed that. Hey, yeah, I think it's amazing. Congratulations. This is, uh, this is my Wukong right here. The, uh, he's got a cigarette in his mouth. He's got some cool glasses on. He's got a pirate hat. Yar, he's a pirate. And, uh, <laughs> and he lives in my wall. I have not yet given him a name. Uh, he's, he, cause they don't have one automatically, right? You need to eventually we'll be able to name these. Yeah. You can write your own story. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure he has one as well. And uh, also, um, you guys are working with some uh, some fashion brands. What's that? What's the result of that going to be? Alice, you can take that one. Um, so uh, one of the fashion brands that we are working closely with is Ambush. Um, Ambush is a Japanese high fashion uh, streetwear brand. And um, so basically, um, the the founder, Furball, he is also a, a Monkey Kingdom holder, and he's been very supportive of this project. And recently, he also launched a Ambush Pal NFT project, which also went very well. And we are going to have some collaborations um, in the coming months, uh, which will be online and offline. Um, we are going to have our Monkey Kingdom and Ambush uh, merch um, coming out which will be t-shirts and hoodies and, and yeah, stuff like that. And also we're going to have some um, NFT collaborations as well. Nice. Well, you know, congratulations to you and the whole team. You've, you've built something here that once you've got the attention of one of the world's major auction houses, you've, you've arrived, uh, you know, you. it's, it's hard to become what we would call a blue chip you know, NFT collection. But I think that if anything locks it down, I'd say, you know, being with Sotheby's or Christie's kind of said, this is it, you're ensconced. So uh, next mint happens when? Uh, it's going to be in April. Okay. Yeah. So join the discord, uh, get in the community to find out more info at monkey kingdom dot I O Lil Wukong and awkward Al's. Thanks for coming on today and, and sharing with us. Thank you for having us. Joe. It was an much. absolute pleasure. Ah, delightful stuff, gang. The monkey kingdom, monkey kingdom .io. Go check it out. Uh, you know, there's a, there's only, um, you know, 2,222 in this primary collection here. Uh, 30 soul is the floor on them. So you guys might want to go check it out and investigate what they're up to. And thank you for listening in or watching whatever it is you happen to be doing. Of course, if you're watching, you're also hopefully listening. Make sure you subscribe, share, ring bells, whatever it is that you do. And maybe write us a review. We would like that, especially on iTunes. Five stars is always tops in our books. And we will, in turn, give you a five-star review back for being awesome and being the best at knowing how to keep it nifty looking into the future what do we see it's lined with digital collectibles we call them nfts games trading cards digital art and those crypto kitties joel and zach are the hosts you'll know joel and zach say this will blow the lock the load it's so ready set go it's the nifty really kind of spiffy the name